I wanna show you all one final very popular way of importing images and that's via tethered capture. Tethered capture is a fantastic option when you're working in the studio. And basically what's gonna happen is we take our camera, we're gonna plug it in directly into the computer with typically a long cable. And then as we shoot, Lightroom is gonna import directly into the catalog, ready to go. We can even have it apply develop settings, import settings, everything right from camera. It's super nice when you're shooting in the studio because you can verify things on a large screen. You can zoom in, check your detail. You can see how things are. Where's your light falling? Everything directly on a larger screen rather than trying to look at everything from the viewfinder or from this uh, little uh, LCD on the back. So what we're going to do is I have my 5D Mark III here. And by the way, let me just show you all one thing. If you want, you can go and pull up so let's just go ahead and bring up a browser window. And in Chrome, I'm just gonna type in Lightroom Tethered Capture Compatible Cameras. Lightroom is not necessarily compatible with every single camera, okay? So if you go to this little help.adobe, it'll actually bring up the compatible cameras that are able to tether with Lightroom. And it'll tell you which versions that it supports and so forth. So if you find that it's not working, be sure that your camera is actually supported via the Lightroom Tethered Capture. And by the way, Lightroom Tethered Capture is not necessarily as powerful as something like Capture One. Capture One is kind of the standard when it comes to Tethered Capture, but this is still great for, you know, kind of studios that are beginning to do studio-based work. Obviously, you don't do this stuff on location because it's kind of difficult to tether to a laptop while you're moving around shooting a wedding or shooting portraits and stuff like that. But in studio, it's a fantastic tool. And Lightroom gives you a great uh, taste of that. So what we need is a USB cable that will plug to your camera. So this is the one for the 5D Mark III. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in to our USB port right here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and plug this into my machine. And what you can do now is bring up, go to your file menu, file, file, file. There we go, file menu, bring up the tethered capture option and click start tethered capture. Okay, we're gonna give it any name. You can give it a session name basically and uh, we can call it anything. Let's call it crash course test. It's gonna give you a sample file naming where it chooses the session name or you can simply, again, like we would before, choose a custom name or use just the file name from the camera. Anything uh, is totally fine. All right, so we'll just go with session name is totally fine. We'll start with 001, or start with one. Um, with the location, we would choose a location. So for example, if I want it to not go under my pictures on my computer, I'm just gonna go to the desktop, and we're gonna say right here, sample tethered capture. Okay, select that folder. All right, and then we can choose our metadata if we wanna include any of those presets along with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and select OK. It's gonna bring this up, and from right here, we can actually choose a develop setting if we'd like to include that along with it. So if I wanna include signature color, I can have that. I already have my metadata dialed in, I have everything. Now I'm just gonna plug this in to my computer. I can't see my USB port. There we go, okay. Hopefully this is not a dead cable, by the way. And we're gonna turn the camera on. And once on, it should automatically detect. You see it detects EOS 5D Mark III. Crash course test is our settings. It actually will show me my camera settings right here, my white balance and everything. And now I simply bring up my camera, which I can't even uh, bring it up at the moment because it's, the cable's too short. The cable's only like one inch long. I'm gonna turn off the manual focus just so I can take a, a snapshot and just show you guys. Show you that it works. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot a blurry shot of my floor. <gasps> Lovely. Oh my gosh, you should be a photographer. This looks amazing. And you can see that as soon as I shot it, it basically comes directly into the catalog. It applies the signature processing to it. And I can even use this button to click my camera. So if I click this, ah, uh, watch. Can you hear my camera going? Every time I click, it actually fires the camera for you. So if you want, you can set your camera onto a tripod where you're shooting maybe products or something. You click capture when you're ready to go directly from Lightroom. That way you don't even need something like a uh, cable release. You can actually use Lightroom as your cable release. That's kind of cool, right? So this is tethered capture. It's a great, again, it's a great feature built into Lightroom because it might not be the best solution for a professional studio. You might wanna to go to Capture One. But if you're starting out with studio work and this is already inside of Lightroom and it's compatible with your camera, it's a great place to start with tethered capture until you're ready to move on to something a little more advanced. 
That's it for this tutorial and this entire chapter on importing, exporting, merging catalogs, everything in between. Hopefully all of this makes sense. We now can bring our images into Lightroom in any method. We can now edit those images and now export those images to any source, any place that we want and for any medium that we would like. Let's go ahead and move to the next chapter.